to survey the Dearborn damage follow the yellow tail of the tape. Power lines down, several other areas under caution, and a gas main broken when this big oak was uprooted on York. The repair took several hours and the rotten egg smell permeated the west side neighborhood. I could hardly uh, stay outside. It was affecting me. I'm not, uh, I'm 86 and, uh, you know, pretty, <laughs> I said, close the door to my wife and we're staying inside. This is Outer Drive in Hollander where likely live power lines are still down and being closely guarded by DTE staffers. The power outage made for a long night for Denise Hill, an in-home caregiver from Oakwood Medical. She's been trying to keep her 92-year-old client comfortable. She can't take it. We're going to move her out within the next couple of hours because we just can't take it anymore. In this same area, kids were walking home from summer school when the storm hit yesterday. Jalen watched another kid he doesn't know make the almost fatal mistake of moving a live down power line. He was only injured and lucky. Yeah, I tried to move the wire and I caught his arm on fire. His mother was home watching a tree fall onto a car, another tree on top of a neighbor's house, and another house catch fire. Have you seen a storm like this? Never. I'm 44 years old, never. I've been living in Dearborn for five years. Never saw anything like this in my life. I said, wow, it needs to be a lot of prayer going on out here. This is Alexandrian Street in Dearborn. You can see where this oak tree was rotted out in the middle and the big limb fell. This house had a power surge and we're told it's gutted because of a fire on the inside and then the limb from the tree fell on the corner of the house next door. You can see a blue top protecting the roof. People are not the only ones here having to relocate. Make room for the guys doing all the cleanup. In Dearborn, Jim Kurtzner, Local 4.